Hi guys, I hope you're all doing really well. I was just sitting here at my loom and I was thinking I haven't done a vlog for a while and I haven't done a video for a while um, showing you how to do anything and I started really freaking out about it um, uh, which is the nature of like social media and, and all of this um, it, it can be quite overwhelming and I thought actually there's no reason why I can't do a vlog from just sitting at my loom um, and it might actually just be much more interesting so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, the current project I've got on here is it's a natural cotton and linen warp and I've finished putting it through all of the heddles which are these Texolve um, material heddles. So each thread comes through one of these heddles. I don't know whether you can see that from there and then two threads go through each of these metal teeth on the reed which is this metal kind of grid in front of me it's not a grid it's sort of um uh, it's just lots of vertical teeth and um it's destined to be made into a series of upholstery samples and i i'm going to put through the weft this beautiful naturally dyed madder that my mum has dyed and uh, there's also going to be some some blue indigo samples as well and uh, they're not only going to be sold then by the meter so it can be ordered by the meter on our website uh, they're going to a couple of upholstery shops as well um, so we'll see how that goes uh, the loom should be uh, ready to go in about an hour I haven't fired it up since we moved studios, so I'm a little bit apprehensive as to how that's going to go and whether we've put everything together right, but um, hopefully it will be uh, plain, plain sailing. Uh, the other really exciting project uh, at the moment is a project with my brother. We've, we're collaborating. He works with leather and um, I've ordered this Pinatex fabric which is a really sustainable vegan leather option and it's it's sort of somewhere in between felt and leather uh, but it feels really nice it's made from uh, the, the, the pineapple fiber waste from pineapple farming so it would otherwise have gone to waste so it's super super sustainable and it feels fantastic so a big roll of that arrived yesterday and he's taken it off to do some experimenting with and the aim is for us to mix my weaving and also some vintage kimono fabric with with the Pinatex and put together a collection of luxury bags, weekend bags, purses. We'll see where it goes. Um, uh, but so that's really exciting. Uh, Frankie went back to nursery last week, which uh, is the start of things sort of vaguely going back to normal, I think. And I spent the first week just so completely overwhelmed with how much work I had to do that I didn't really get very much done, which is often the case with me. And uh, this week has been really productive and I'm just sort of full steam ahead. Uh, so there's there's about five different projects going on which is a little bit too much but I'm just trying to sort of focus on one thing at a time get it done and move on to the next um, but yeah I'll, I'll keep you in the loop with everything that's going on uh, I have also and I'm very aware that I've promised quite a few people now that I will do a video on um, making a warp on a warping mill and I use the Lure and the Ashford warping mills. The Ashford one is a slightly smaller one, but they they do exactly the same job. So I will do. I I promise I will do a warping video, and um and I'll I'll pop it up on here as soon as it's done. But um yeah, thanks for listening to me waffle on, and um yeah, I hope you all have a really good day. Bye.